Hi! Today I'm going to tell you about how I discovered Flagstaff in Arizona. And you may think, Flagstaff? Uh, what, what does that city have that is so amazing? Well, let me tell you. I, I got to Flagstaff by chance because I was just trying to escape the heat and Flagstaff is at, at a certain altitude, so it is not that hot. And, uh, oh my gosh, I was, I fell in love with that city. It is a so weird, so particular city. Uh, they have two colleges, therefore it, there is a lot of uh, young people. But that is that happens downtown. Around downtown, there are so many other uh, amazing places you can check. The library is they have two libraries. The one that has the word Coconino in the name is is my favorite. It's bigger, uh, lots of tables to work at. Um, I was surprised. Uh, I like that they they allow homeless people to spend hours there and I even saw a family that were sitting around a table just just doing nothing I mean just spending their day there the homeless problem ah I tell you it's it's extremely difficult but in any case there are good places like Flagstaff where homeless people can spend the whole day inside of the library and nobody complains and that is great in my eyes that is great but let's try to make this one a little shorter just for some of my friends who say you talk too much and you know who you are but <laughs> Let me tell you, I liked Flagstaff so much that I even considered staying there for several months and getting a job and working in the area. Of course, then I started researching about the weather in Flagstaff and I didn't know, but it is the second snowiest <laughs> city in the United States even more than in, than in Minnesota. And I am not willing to go through that again. So, and besides the rent, uh, the rent of an apartment or a, a f whatever, a studio, they are super expensive. They start at over $2,000 a month. I found one Airbnb that was just a room, just the one room, in a family house and um, you had to share the bathroom with the rest of the family only one bathroom with little Timmy and little Lily uh, running around and knocking on your bathroom door hey are you done I need to go in that kind of thing that was too much for me so I couldn't stay in Flagstaff because of that because of the winter coming and so much snow and so very high prices. But other than that, Flagstaff is amazing. They do have BLM land five to seven miles away from the town. And I hope you like the images. It's amazing, the, the flowers in bloom. It, it was just, beautiful and they are also strategically positioned because they are close to the Grand Canyon close to the petrified forest national park close to the walnut canyon that I visited and I loved um, they are close to many things around them so making Flagstaff your base to move around that area is an amazing an amazingly good idea water is expensive 50 cents a gallon that also tells you the whole thing is expensive 
I don't know, but it's beautiful. I don't know. In preparation for the winter, I bought my first uh, weighted blanket. I had I had no experience before with that. I had not done any research. I just saw it and I thought it was a good idea. I loved it. I brought it with me when I went to the Grand Canyon and I loved the feel and the looks of it, but I almost killed myself. Just know that if you decide to ever own a weighted blanket, it has to be 10% of your weight. And the one I got was 22 pounds, so I am not 220 pounds. The first night, it was so beautiful, it was so warm and so nice to have that little weight on you. And uh, But my knees were hurting in the morning. I didn't make anything out of that. The following morning, I woke up, I couldn't breathe. And that is because I don't know what it does to you. Just make sure you get a 10% of your body weight and no more than that. Don't you ever use a weighted blanket on a baby or something like that. I promise they are dangerous if you exceed the weight. I loved it, but I got really scared, so I decided not to have one never again. What other things should I share with you? Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you, in Flagstaff you can go to the Lowell Observatory, which is where they discovered the planet Pluto, where they discovered it from. Um, and I, I went there and it does the entrance on one side, on one pillar, it has the name Lowell Observatory. On the other pillar, it has the glyphs that represent the planets. It was so beautiful to see the Sun, the Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, uh, what else, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, Pluto, all of them are there. So you remember that they are going around us and uh, they are represented there in one of the pillars in this beautiful town of Flagstaff. I am so sorry I couldn't stay there, but I suppose I will find some place nice some other time where I will fall in love and say, hey, I'm going to stay here. So let's enjoy some more images. What about that? I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? You're my heart's desire 
I hope you liked this video. If so, give me a thumbs up, please. And please subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, to my amazing patrons that are always helping me achieve more. And thank you, Sherry, for the amazing in advance early card you sent me much appreciated sherry my my good friend uh the fisher lady uh so much energy i want to interview her and she's shy she doesn't want to i will i will do it someday i will get her to you have to get to know her she's amazing thank you so much for being here and i'll see you soon take care i just wanna love you just wanna hold you just wanna be with you.